Hey guys, it's Eric from Pin Pioneer, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Pinterest new changes and how those impact your use of Pin Pioneer and your Pinterest marketing strategies as a whole. Now, today I'm recording this video from my balcony outside because it's far too warm inside. So you might hear some birds fluttering about, chirping, bees buzzing, boats and yachts taking off. So try to enjoy the scenery, or at least the ambiance, while I try to make my point as clear as possible with this video. So to begin, one of the biggest changes that's uh, happened recently with Pinterest is the involvement from old to new look. So Pinterest has evolved their old design into a new design. Um, and this has actually impacted a lot of our development. So we had to redesign all of Pin Pioneer to support this new look. And other lots of other applications in the space actually had to do the same. Now, now that everything's working fine on our end, let me just tell you a little bit about how um, you have to change your old accounts into your new accounts, or your old look into your new look, and why it's necessary. So the main distinction between old look and new look is that old look still looks like this. It's the most recognizable one, probably. Menus are like so, and that kind of stuff. And new look looks a little bit differently, like so. So you can see the menus are highlighted, maybe a bit cleaner, things are bigger. That's the main idea. Now, in order to use Pin Pioneer now, you have to upgrade all your accounts to new look. Because just like Pinterest, we are phasing out old look, and within the next week or so, it will be completely phased out. So to make use of Pin Pioneer, make sure your accounts are upgraded to new look, and make sure this checkbox is always checked, ticked. Now, to actually upgrade your accounts to new look, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is log into your account, and then click on your little name here, or hover over it, and it will either say switch to new look down at the bottom, in which case just hit this button and hit yes, get it no. If it doesn't have this down here, all you have to do is go to settings, then navigate down to where it says website, and type in any website. So in this case, just boss.com, for instance. Hit save profile. Ah, well, this account is in read-only mode, but it doesn't matter. Same idea. All you'll have to do is enter in a website, hit save profile, and this little switch to new look menu uh, option will appear below. If that's the case, hit it. Get it now. It'll switch your look over to new look, and you'll be good to go. Then, from that point on, if you're using Pin Pioneer, always have this little box ticked and everything will, will, will work fine, your boards will, your boards will load correctly, your pins will be posted correctly. Um, because that wasn't the case and this wasn't checked, you'd hit the plus button and nothing would show up. Because we won't actually be able to use your account and or log into it. Like so. That's pretty simple but necessary to make use of Pin Pioneer these days. The next thing is Pinterest's new source URL. Um, source URL functionality, which means that you can't actually change the source URL anymore when you're repinning content. You can only change it after the content has already been pinned and or, I guess, repinned. Let me show you a quick example of what I mean here, and I'll show you how to solve that issue. So right, right now, if I go to Pinterest, pin any pin, let's say it's this one, pin it. As you can see here, there's no actual option here to change the source URL. So I'll pin it and it will use the default image. It will use the default image URL that was pinned from originally. Okay. Hasn't updated yet. Yeah, so here you go. As you can see, the um, URL remains the same. This means that you can't do it through Pin Pioneer. Or you can't you can't do it through Pin Pioneer either. We're looking into a feature to mass change source URLs afterwards, but to integrate it into the current functionality, that will reduce the functionality of the pins. And our entire goal, our our main goal this entire time was to be the fastest Pinterest app available anywhere, and that is the case right now. We dominate the entire market with the speed and precision of our pinning, posting, and liking processes. Now to get around this issue, what you can do, if you pin from Flickr for instance, so I'm typing car, scrape, 
if you pin or post from Flickr, you can still alter the source URL. So if I select something here, change this to comment to use the original description. And this is case sensitive, so make sure if you use the comment functionality that it is capitalized. And if I hit start pin now, it's going to go and select it and pin this Flickr post, but you'll see that the source URL does get changed. Let's see how fast it is. So we go back here. Refresh. Car accident at work, we just pinned, and you can see that the source URL changes. Visit ericazizian.com. The other way to do this is to upload images from your desktop. So that will allow you to use source URLs as well. In this case, I can go import pictures, uh, lighthouse, for instance, open, change the description to lighthouse. And remember that you must have a description when posting any kind of pins, because otherwise pins just won't allow you to post it. So lighthouse, start pin. This is an image I'm uploading from my desktop computer. So an image that is saved on my hard drive, essentially. And remember, the best use of this, the best use of images on your desktop is to first watermark them using the watermark feature here, and then upload them back to Pinterest with your source URLs, pointed to your website or to your affiliate offer or to any kind of monetiz monetary form of um, interaction <laughs> to put a very, very complex spin, of th on spin, spin on things. So I just posted this pin, uploaded it. If we go back to my profile, refresh the page. There it is, and as you can see now, again, this image is linked to my website, to my source URL that I imp inputted in Pin Pioneer. Okay. Now, what you can do instead, if you are repinning and you want to post URLs to lead back to your website, but since the source URL function won't allow it, what you can do is just use the URL tag, which is essentially this. And if I go back to Pin, let me search up something. The URL tag will essentially just replace any URL you have here in this little box with the URL tag. And I can write here, for instance, hey, for more awesomeness, for all more awesome stuff, check out. Like so. If I pin something, it will then post this URL in the description. So you can still get some value, some click-throughs, even if the source URL is not uh, applicable at this time. So as you can see now, it's going to go ahead and post these images by, by Pinterest, sorry. It's going to repin them. And if we go back to my profile, you'll see that the URL function has replaced the URL we inputted earlier with that URL tag pretty much. So it pins. And you can see here in the description, the URL is there and it's clickable. Excellent. You should all, by the way, sign up to my website, to my blog, and read my interesting content about my life. So that's that pretty much. The next final thing is just a backup, um, a recap of some of the other functionality that you may have missed. That's scheduling and multi-instance support. By this I mean I can schedule anything I want to keep my usage of Pin Pioneer and Pinterest completely hands-free. So set and forget pretty much. The way I do this is just select whatever you want, right-click Add to Scheduler under the specified option here, whether it's a like, follow, comment, or repin. Uh, repin takes into account also any kind of post. So repin will add the URLs here. Make sure this box is checked. Select the time. It has to be five minutes at least in front of the current time. And select your options here again, your dates, your new looks, your boards, URLs, board names, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And hit add to schedule. It will go ahead and do these tasks. You can also run multiple schedules at a time with multiple instances of program open up, opened. And by instances, I mean just multiple copies of the application. So I can have five copies of Pin Pioneer 
working in the background, one can be mass liking, one can be mass following, one can be mass commenting and so forth through different accounts to keep all the marketing completely hands free um, and essentially much easier to outsource to clients or to sell to your clients if you're a social media agency and or any kind of social media content provider. So that's it for now. Um, please stay tuned for the next videos as we're having some new updates coming out soon for Pin Pioneer, including a mass board invite feature so you can invite people to your boards in mass and that's always helpful uh, and some other things you have planned on the way. So that's all for now. Thanks so much and goodbye.